So step one is to take a long exaggerated step with your left or right leg, whichever one you're not gonna be using to get up on the saddle with. You wanna lean forward into this step. That's gonna get your torso long and low and also begin to open up your hips a little bit. And that's crucial. You wanna open up those hips to get those hips and get your leg up on the saddle. So step two is to twist your hips, bring your right leg up onto the saddle, get your thigh onto the saddle and push off with your left leg. A couple really key points here. Um, with that exaggerated long step that you're taking forward, your hips begin to open up. And here, we're continuing to open up the hips and aiming for that leg onto the saddle and really pushing off with the left leg. It's not a jump, it's a push off. It's a very common issue. It's also really important as you're doing this remount, aim for the thigh, right? You're twisting the hips, you're getting that extra length, you're getting the hips up and you're aiming for that inner thigh about halfway up your thigh. The third step is to slide on the saddle and square up your hips with the saddle. This is not a very critical part for form, but it's really important for your balance. You wanna make sure that you're untwisting your hips, untwisting your torso, and letting your hips come square to the, to the saddle before you start clipping in, and really get your balance at this point. That's really important. So step four is to find your pedals. This is super simple. You're just looking for those pedals, clipping in as fast as you can, and starting to pedal away. So now we'll kind of talk some about some of the, the common mistakes. Um, as I said, there's sort, of, there's sort of four common mistakes that people make. The biggest one is that people think of a remount as a jump onto the bike. If you're thinking about it like a jump, you're gonna do it wrong every time. If you're thinking about it like, any, like a jump, you're gonna crush your crotch. Don't think about the remount like you're jumping onto your bike. Think about it like an exaggerated long step onto the bike. Another common mistake people make all the time is not twisting their hips. It's really easy to keep those, tw those hips and torso square as you start to jump onto the bike. And if you do that, you're not gonna get the length and you're not gonna get the height you need to get onto the saddle without jumping. Another big common mistake people do is not aiming for their thigh, they aim for their crotch. They don't do it on purpose, but it's easy to do. You wanna aim for your inner thigh, like I said, about halfway up the thigh, maybe a little bit closer to the crotch, but don't aim for the sensitive bits. You hit that once, it hurts really bad, and that's where stutter step comes in. The fourth big common mistake that everybody wants to know how to solve is the stutter step. And I say the stutter step because everybody knows about it. The stutter step is when you're trying to remount the bike and your left leg is stuttering along the ground as you're getting your other leg up onto the, the saddle. So how do you get rid of the stutter step? The quickest way to get rid of the stutter step is to practice these skills, practice this drill of getting onto the bike at an incredibly slow pace. I'm talking walking pace, right? So walk next to your bike, take a slow, exaggerated step forward with your left leg, and as you do, lift your right leg up onto the saddle very slowly. Get that leg up onto the saddle. Get your right thigh up onto the saddle. When it's sitting on the saddle, slowly slide onto the saddle. You can do this at a walking pace. Find your pedals and pedal away. Do that at that slow pace and then begin to do it a little bit faster, but you always wanna be doing it slow enough that you can do it correctly. We're trying to practice the correct form. If you jump into doing it super fast, that muscle memory that you have, that incorrect muscle memory takes over and you're gonna do it wrong and you're gonna get that stutter step. So go slow and you can start ramping up the speed and it's practice, practice, practice these slow motions. 